Hey guys, I'm Rachel and today I am showing you what you can do to prevent your makeup from getting extremely oily throughout the day to make your makeup last in this summer heat, something sort of like a sweat proof, summer proof <laughs> makeup routine. So um, let's hop into it. Okay, so... Um, Please excuse the noises in my background. I always say I live very close to a highway so you hear everything coming through. All right, first of all, skincare is very, very important. I'm always saying that. I did some skincare routines on my channel. You can check them out. I already did my skincare. Make sure you're moisturizing your skin regardless as to what skin type that you have. Moisturizer is extremely important. And the next thing is a sunscreen. Always use a sunscreen before you go in with any makeup product. It is the last step of your skincare routine and the first step of your makeup routine. Always use a sunscreen. And I love the Nivea one. This one, I've been using it like two weeks or so. And I've tried a lot and this one is perfect. I bought it from Amazon. I would recommend starting with a setting spray, not just as the last step of your makeup routine, but also as a first step of your makeup routine. And I like the wet and wild ones. Um, Another good one is the NYX Matte Setting Spray, but today I'm just going to apply some of the Wet n Wild one. This just add an extra layer, an extra barrier for your makeup to last longer. So I always recommend starting with a setting spray first. Next, I'm going in with two primers. Now for my makeup routine, I love using something that's um, pore filling, something a little mattifying. These are my current two primers and that's what I'm using today. Now the, I'm using the Fenty Soft Matte and I want to talk a little bit on this because I do not like extremely mattifying primers. I have combination skin where I'm mostly oily in my T-zone and I find that using too much um, primers that are too matte causes me to produce more oils at the end of the day so I avoid that. So I love this one because it's just what it says. It's a very soft matte primer and for a cheaper alternative the nyx angel veil primer and the colourpop ulster matte and blood primers these are really nice primers as well so i'm just going to apply a little bit of this um all over my face and we are working in layers a little bit goes a very long way next i'm going to go on with my milk hydro grip primer this primer is i love it it's one of my favorite primers at the moment it's very um it dries to a very sticky finish and what does what that does is it helps to grip like the name says it grips all your makeup so when you put your makeup over top it just sticks to it and sucks it in and keeps it in place all day now of course these are the primers that i love at the moment you can use whatever primer you love whatever primer combo that works well for you you go ahead and do that i just feel like priming your face is of utmost importance in the longevity of your makeup and in the oils coming through at the end of the day at this point i would recommend using a setting powder lightly dust a setting powder over your face to set your primer if you're extremely oily that works pretty well i won't be doing this today because i love the gripping primer it just really grips my makeup so i will skip that step but trust me if you're extremely oily setting your face with a setting powder before you're actually going with your foundation is gonna help the longevity and prevent the oil from coming through quickly at the end of the day now i've been using this routine i'm about to do about a month or so now it's been working really well for me i'm hardly using any foundations like liquid foundations recently and i love the way my makeup looks at the end of the day for an everyday look that is the routine that i use now if you are using liquid foundations i would recommend you going with your liquid foundations at this moment and work in layers always work in layers little at a time and build the less product on your face is going to be better for you at the end of the day in your oils coming through and the longevity of your makeup so i'm starting with my elf camo concealer i love these concealers so much and i'm using the shade chestnut and i'm just applying this in areas where i have discoloration it's just going to help to cancel out the discoloration and you have to work really fast with this concealer because it dries pretty pretty quick on your face I did do a routine, my current foundation routine. Also, you can check that out. It's on my channel. The concealers are very pigmented. A little goes a long way. As you can see, I applied a little and it canceled out most of my discoloration on my face and that is fine for me. I'm also being sure to get my nose as well. Now, what I've noticed is my nose and my chin are the oiliest on my skin. And um, I did try using 
the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation on my um, concealer, sorry, on my nose the other day, and I noticed at the end of the day it broke up. So this foundation, this concealer. Huh? Why are you keep saying foundation? This concealer did not do that to me, so that is what I am using. And they are only five dollars. You cannot go wrong with that. Okay, so now that the discoloration is gone, I'm gonna add a little highlight on my face. I'm using another shade in the L concealer. I'm using Tan San. And that's gonna apply it underneath my eyes, the corner of my nose, because it tends to get red, and on the bridge of my nose. Now when I get to my nose, I'm gonna blend my nose and I'm gonna take whatever is left on the sponge and I'm just gonna dab it on my forehead and my chin. I'm trying not to get too much product on my chin because like I said, my chin is very oily and I find that this um, routine works well for me. It does not produce a lot of oils at the end of the day and it does not um, separate at the end of the day. Less is more, trust me. Now, I forgot to do this in the beginning when I was priming my face, but what I want to do now is not too late. Um, I'm going to take an eyeshadow primer. I'm using the Milani eyeshadow primer and I'm going to dab it in the area of my face where I know I tend to crease, which is the size of my mouth there. I have fine lines here that tend to crease at the end of the day. So adding an eyeshadow primer in these areas is going is to prevent that from hurting. So what? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow like I'm doing here and I'm gonna pat that concealer in the areas where I have those fine lines. What that's gonna do is it's gonna stretch the creases out. So when I apply the primer, it's just gonna settle in on a smooth canvas and stay smooth throughout the day. Uh, trust me, it works. I've been doing that lately and it really, really does work. So if you're someone who gets extremely oily, that is something you can do in areas, in specific areas of your face. Like so. And it's gonna look sort of ashy, but that's fine. The ashier, the better. Trust me, it just means that it's there. Now that I have this base down, I'm gonna set my concealer using my NC42 powder foundation from MAC with my damp sponge. I just like doing that. It works well for me in um, preventing my oils through the day and it keeps this area very, very smooth. So I'm applying it everywhere I applied concealer like I said if you're someone who's using liquid foundations you will do your routine as per usual but this is the routine that's been working well for me and whatever routine you're using just remember less is more I want to reiterate that so now I'm using another color in the studio fix powder foundation NC45 and this is actually the, my color and I'm gonna apply that everywhere I did not put any concealer like the rest of my face and I'm just using the same damp sponge to press that in. It gives me really nice coverage. And I like the end product. Trust me guys, this routine is everything for me. It works so well. At the end of the day, my makeup is not caking. There's not a lot of oils coming through. It looks just as I did it and better. I feel like it looks better as the time progresses. So what more can I ask for? So now I'm gonna bake the areas where I applied my concealer. That's, that step is actually gonna help to keep my oils even more at bay. And I'm using Huda Beauty, sorry, Huda Beauty in Blondie and Fenty Beauty in Cashew. Now I love these so much that I mix them. I mix them both together and I'm just gonna use a puff and set bake the areas where I know I get extremely oily I know this is a lot of powders and it is gonna end up looking really matte but trust me you would love that it looks matte that way because you would love that you did your face that matte because when your oil start to come through you would see how it you know just makes everything look more natural at the end of the day and you will thank yourself that you applied all these powders. So there we have it. So like I said, it looks powdery, but it's gonna pay off in the long run. This is just perfect to keep your oils at bay. So I'm gonna quickly do my brows off camera. Now, if you've been on my channel from when I started, speaking of which, August will be one year since I started my YouTube journey. Yay. Um, 
So, like I was saying, if you're someone who's been here since I started my YouTube journey, you know how much I love the Got To Be Ultra Glue Invisible Gel for my brows. This is what I use in my brows and it works amazing. So I have a little on my hand. Actually, this is just way too much, but I'm going to roll my spoolie in that and I'm brushing it in my brow hairs upwards like so i like my brow hairs to stand up it, it defines my brow hair so you see every brow and it like it locks the powder in place as well it really 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 does work so that is actually what i love to do i love my got to be jelly i'm pretty sure i will be using this forever and a day it's inexpensive this one is less than three dollars like you cannot go wrong regardless whatever you're doing whenever you do your brows just make sure you set your brows in place if you want it to last whatever product you choose to use you you do you just make sure you're setting it that is going to ensure longevity of your brows in the summer heat baby now at this point i'm not going to dust the bake off i am going to press it into my skin press all of that in with my damn sponge Press, 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 press. Howdy, don't need no press. Press, 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 press. Oh, I press until it is all dissolved and sunken into my skin. Sunken. Lord, I haven't used that word so long. It doesn't even sound right. Is that a word? Hmm. Gotta check. Now that I have that base. I am going to use one more powder and I'm going to use a mattifying powder. It's Prime and Fine Mattifying Waterproof Transparent Powder from the brand Catrice. It looks like this and trust me, it is a very, very transparent. It does not come off as anything on your face. So I'm using, <laughs> I'm using a powder brush, tap off the excess and I'm just going to lightly go over my face with that focus a lot on my chin and the areas where I get really really oily it's mostly the center of my face like so so I'm gonna complete the rest of my face off camera um, since uh, it's mostly about the steps I take for my base to last um, the rest of my makeup is not necessary here so I'm just gonna complete that off camera and be right back and show you the final step my makeup is almost done but this is the point where I actually set my face and I love to set my face before I actually go with my highlights and mascara it just applies better and it prevents my mascara from getting everywhere so I love using my morphe continuous setting spray I love 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 that this just helps to absorb all the powders on my face so I'm gonna apply a good bit of this do you see instantly how it brings my makeup alive it makes my face come alive do you see do you see that I don't know but I see it I really do see it and I'm gonna bust out my bougie ass fan and let that dry and while it's halfway drying, I'm going in with a mattifying spray and I'm using the NYX one. I'm just going to apply it to the center of my face, but everywhere is going to get... Mm. But I focus it on the center of my face because that's where I'm extremely oily and the rest of my face is more normal. So this is just going to lock all the makeup that I just applied and help all the powders to dissolve into my skin. Now, if you're my skin type, that is what I would recommend with a setting spray. You want to use something that is going to bring life back to your face, rejuvenate your face, absorb all the powders, and then you want to use something that's mattifying. You could use it in any order you feel like. You can use a matte spray and then use something to bring back, you know, life to your skin. Or use, I just prefer to use that method. And that is what I do for my makeup okay. class. So. And I'm back with my completed look. So these are the steps I use whenever I want my makeup to last throughout the day sweatproof. Like I said, 
I haven't been using uh, foundations too much but if you're someone who uses foundation and you're oily or maybe just nice skin type combo oily I would recommend you using something that's matte or has a more demi matte finish Use very little of it build in areas where you need to to build and apply very little in the areas where you actually get oily be sure you're always priming your skin using your setting sprays and your powders to lock the areas in that you get oily i'm getting older and i have been changing my foundation routine and like i said i will probably link them on the um below in the description box those that i'm the way i'm doing my foundation recently or you can just scroll through just a couple of videos after this one to see what i've been doing and i've been strictly using powder foundation and if i ever use a foundation um of recently i've been using this for a very long time the l'oreal um infallible 24 fresh wear foundation i love it i love it a lot and i'm just using a very very little now of course this is like a routine i use for every day and this routine lasts me a good 10 hours looking good trust me it looks really really good at the end of the day the more my skin starts to want to get oily it starts to just look awesome amazing <laughs> it looks really 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 beautiful and i love this routine and like I said, I'm getting older, so I find myself reaching for foundations that are not so matte. I find myself reaching for more demi-matte and softer finish foundations, and I'm using more powder foundations and stuff like that. So this is a complete look. Do you see I use no liquid foundations? I'm using concealers to, con to correct any darkness in my face and powders, and that is it. So hi, if you're new here, my name is Rachel, and welcome to the family. I hope you enjoy what I'm doing here. If you do, please subscribe, hit the bell, like, comment, share. It really helps and I really, really appreciate it. I hope you took something from this. This makeup routine is not for you to do what I'm doing, but to take what you can from it and implement it in your routine. So thank you so much for watching. Um, let's continue to touch the world one face at a time. Everything I use will be in the description box down below. So, so be sure to check that out. Follow me on all my Instagram uh, profiles, um, the information of how to book. So I am a nail tech and a working makeup artist out here in Brooklyn. So I'll leave, my, I'll leave my booking link in the bottom bar also. Follow my Instagram page if you want to see my work. And um, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next tutorial on Sunday. Bye, guys.